All right, this is Empire Pictures slash Empire Entertainment. This is their film output from 1983 until May of 1988, when Edward Sar Louis' epic productions took it over with the help of the Credit Lyonnais Bank. Okay, The Alchemist released, um, it's got a 1983 date. It was actually filmed in 1981, and that was a... Um, that's really like the only Charles Band movie that was ever a job. He was hired to do it, and then later on he bought the domestic rights to it. Dungeon Master, 1984. Uh, like seven parts to that thing. Ghost Warrior, 1984. That's a very good movie. Ghoulies, 1984. That was a breakout hit. Grossing like $35, 36000000 million in the United States alone. That's what fueled a lot of this stuff. Trancers, a Charles Band directed movie. Tim Thomerson, 1984. They went on to make five sequels to that. Reanimator, Stuart Gordon debut movie. They reshot it uh, with a new director of photography. Uh, Mac Alberg took it over. Uh, the director of photography from before, they didn't like his work. They said it was bad, so they got rid of him. Okay, Savage Island. That is um Linda Blair movie that they ended up buying that from Continental Motion Pictures, which is Edward Sarlui's company. And they reshot some scenes and put it in there. White Slave is is an Italian movie. Underworld, that's one of the two Clive Barker movies that they did. That's also known as Transmutations. Walking the Edge is a really good movie with uh, Robert Foster, where it's a revenge flick. Zone Troopers is uh, filmed in Italy. Uh, Tim Thomerson is in there. <clears throat> um, World War II uh, army guys meet aliens. Breeders is basically uh, a wizard video movie. Uh, Crawl Space is the, the famous um, Klaus Kinski goes crazy where he's a Nazi and he's got, he's playing Russian roulette in his apartment. He's got little secret passages to look in other people's apartments and everything. Dream Maniac, that was another uh, David Dakota basically direct the video wizard movie okay dolls another stuart gordon movie that's really good uh eliminators is really good um basically a team up movie if you've never seen eliminators check it out it's it's out there from beyond is really good that's another stuart gordon movie um another hp lovecraft adaptation necropolis uh, very little release, Lightning Video, Rawhead Rex, that was also uh, a Clive Barker movie, very little release, released by Vestron Video, Troll, Troll got major distribution here, look that up, it, it's, it's okay, Terror Vision, in my opinion, is a horrible movie, a lot of people like it, it's a cult movie, Valet Girls is funny. It's it's a it's a sex comedy. Uh it's very good. Vicious Lips, that thing was unavailable until Scream Factory put it out years later on a Blu-ray. It it never went to VHS here in the United States. You could order an uh I've seen it on eBay where you have um an imported VHS from Japan. The caller was ended up um, Madeline Smith and uh, Malcolm McDowell. <clears throat> That's a cat and mouse thriller that was released by Transworld Entertainment after they took it over. Okay, Cellar Dweller. That's a direct-to-video movie that New World put out. Now, I've heard two different stories of this. I heard that Vestron's deal with Empire was expiring and they went to New World. And then I've also heard that New World bought the rights to these movies in bankruptcy court. So we'll never know the truth on that one. Crucible Zoids, 
urban classics Beyond Infinity Film Cell. So that was a cheap movie that they put out. I remember that got screened at a couple of grindhouses here in the Chicago area. Enemy Territory is a really good movie uh, about gangs uh, holding people hostage in a, in a tenement building in New York. Galactic Gigolo. Oh, that's a terrible movie. That That's another urban classics one. Terrible. Oh, it's just, it's bad. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Ghoulies 2, direct the video Vestron release. Albert Band directed that. Mutant Hunt is a wizard video. I rented that back in the day when it came out on VHS tape. Princess Academy, another light sex comedy. Prison, Rennie Harlan movie set in a prison. Gory, New World released the, the VHS. It got limited release here. Psychos in Love was a wizard video. Uh, Gorman Beechard. Uh, it's good for what it is. It's a really good movie for being really low budget. Robot Holocaust was another wizard video. Uh, the poster is the, probably the best thing about it. Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity was released as a double feature here in Chicago with uh, Creepazoids. And that was uh, that was filmed all in a warehouse. That's a urban classics movie. Salt of the Killer Mimbos, we ended up seeing that. That's an urban classics movie. We saw that on video, so that never made its way to Chicago. Buy and Sell was released on New World. And that made the movie theaters in Chicago. Catacombs didn't come out until like 93. And it was called um, Curse 4, The Ultimate Sacrifice. Cemetery High was re released by, uh, I believe it's Unicorn Video. It was a, it was a really cheap label. But they've got the rights back to it. Full Moon has the rights back to that movie. Ghost Town is really good. If you haven't seen Ghost Town, go out of your way to see that. That's um, That was a New World video release. It never had a DVD release until Shout Factory put out the Blu-ray. It never was on DVD. It was on VHS. Pulse Pounders, and that's a three-parter. Sequels to The Dungeon Master, which never came out. There's a Trancer short sequel in there, and there's the, the Evil Clergyman. Now, the Evil Clergyman and Trancers have come out on VHS and DVD and all that. Mostly DVD, because it was later on. Uh, they're passable. I would have liked to have seen the Dungeon Master sequel. Sorority Babes and Slime Bowl Bolorama, that's most famous for being... Um, it's on USA Up All Night all the time. That's an um, urban classics movie. Transformations gets a lot of hate, but it's not that bad. It's got Rex Smith in it as a, like a, basically a space trucker that gets this alien disease where he, he does transformations in the alien. Uh, it's, it's decent for what it is. It's got Patrick McNee in it. Arena is really good. Claudia Christian movie. Um, basically an alien boxing movie in space. Uh, aliens versus a human. Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. Now, that wasn't released. <clears throat> Phantom Home Video, which was a subsidiary of Full Moon later on by Paramount. So that was a remnant that Charles Band was able to take with him after he left Empire. Deadly Weapon was released by uh, Transworld Entertainment on video. Uh, it's not bad for what it is. I wish it was a better movie. Supposedly it's a redone version of Laser Blast 2. Intruder, that's all of Sam Raimi's friends, the gang. They filmed a, a slasher movie in a grocery store at night. Uh, that's by Phantom Home Video, which was a full moon subsidiary that came out by Paramount that was released after uh, Charles Band left, so he took that with him. Robot Shocks got a theatrical release here in Chicago by uh, Triumph, which was taking out all the um, Transworld Entertainment epic movies and what was left of the Empire stuff. Uh, it came out in 1990. It was good. It was, it was a really good movie, Stuart Gordon. So that came out probably four or five years later than it should have. 
And that's a shame because I think it would have did a lot better if it would have came out four years earlier. And then Spellcaster wasn't put out until later by uh, RCA Columbia Sony video um, as part of the Epic uh, home video line. So that was a movie that sat on the shelf too. So these are a rundown of the Empire Pictures that came out during that reign. And he's got tons of videos. And um, I'm going to talk about Metal Storm. In, um, Metal Storm is going to get brought up in another video about the Charles Band Productions.